Alright, Sunday's a lovely moment on the new schedule because it sets aside pretty much the whole day for the weekly one-shot and a wild card. And at least for the time being, I want to fill the wild card part of that with Death Road to Canada because the game has sucked me right back in, even after claiming that I was done with it after we defeated Kepa mode those months back. But we're back again, we've got a new crew, and the crew want to attempt the Kepa mode. So we got Lenaru back again, hoping not to have such a curse run with their trademark weapon, which should probably be a sturdy cleaver since they're a gourmand. Meaning they'll eat 50% uh, more food every stop, thanks for that. And Frozen Kaiser, the paranoid fighter in a cool hat. Since they'll be braving the Kepa mode, we need somebody to be Kepa, and that somebody is Bworm, who's been around the channel an awfully long time, but I don't think they've braved the death road if they have. That was a long time ago. So, let's get going. We know how this works. You all know how this works. Lenaru hears rumours that Canada is a safe place, free from the threat of zombies, and he's got nothing to gain, especially not in Florida, so he grabs his best buddy Frozen Kaiser and heads off. Let's hit the road. Okay, we're starting the journey, that means we need to grab some supplies. I've always said that Yolmart is the best one, but then we had a, I think it was either a rest stop or a quiet hotel that we stopped at, and it just gave us so much that it was unbelievable. So now I'm not quite so sure which is the best. I guess Quiet Factory is good for getting melee weapons. Still, Kaiser is yelling in for the Yolmart, whereas Worm wants the rest stop, so what does Lenaru want? And I really should have looked into how to reactivate my red highlighting in chat because it's so hard to read without it. Lenaru is leading towards Yolmart, so let's do it. Worm will use this as the reason that it fails, no doubt, when uh, when it all comes apart. His decision would have seen us through. So Lenaru's trademark weapon is the Sturdy Cleaver. Cleaver is a good weapon because it's fast, it hits twice. It doesn't hit all that hard, but it's nice and easy to swing at least. Normally the downside for the Cleaver is that it breaks, just like um, Kepa's cardboard tube did just there. But since it's a trademark weapon, it will never break. So lucky guy. What's not so lucky is the amount of food we're finding. Then again, we just found a shotgun. Let's just find some shells for it and we're good to go. I want to find a weapon for Kepa and then I will main Kepa because he's very destructible. Oh, oh. This isn't very good. This is very not good. Okay, here's what's happening. Kepa is being mained. And he's been given our better weapon, the hatchet, because Hepa's, Kepa is fairly um, fit. He's fairly strong. And these guys are fairly going to get us killed if they don't fight. Getting yourself backed into a corner like this is seldom a good idea, but... We knew what we were doing. We knew what we were doing. I knew it was a manageable amount of zombies. Whew. Oh, well, it also wasn't all of them. Maybe if these guys had poured in as well, I wouldn't be quite so cocky. Learned some interesting things over the past run or two, uh, in that strength doesn't actually make weapons hit harder. It just makes them take less stamina to swing. So, that's pretty interesting. Damn, we cleaned up. I hope it's not going to exchange all the possible food we could get by giving us that shotgun, because that's not the best trade deal in history. Because for Yolmart, there's a pathetic amount of food around here. And then again, there are the toilets. And I don't think we're overdue a toilet genie, but I always want a toilet genie in a run. 
What I was a little surprised was that our team did not elect to run um, endless mode. We're starting doing um, leaderboards for endless mode. Oh, a spine. I like spine a lot. Have your hatchet back. Then again, endless mode last time took almost six hours, so it's not all that surprising that that's a bit too much time for some people. Alright, in terms of food hauls, three is pathetic for a Yalmart, but we've got ourselves quite a lot of gas, we've got a shotgun. That's not to be, uh, not to be poo-pooed. Let's grab a shopping cart and get out of here. It's good for running zombies down the shopping cart. Let's go. Alright, other than Kappa, we're all a bunch of fairly happy people. And we're in a non-useless junk shop. We're in a sturdy building and we could train repairing, although it would make a lot of noise. Now, none of you appear to be any good at mechanical. I don't know how good uh, Kappa is. But if we're going to start getting any good, then we should probably start now. Borm wants to tinker all night. Frozen Kaiser just wants to go to sleep. So Lenaro gets to make the call. He says, we're just going to sleep. Okay. Let's hope we pick up somebody along the way that's half decent at mechanical. Also, we already don't have enough food to make the next meal. So, we reach the city. There's a bit of rain that riles up the zombies, so they're already irritated. Do we hit up the office building or the infested stronghold? Being tired is atrocious, says Kaiser. This is true, but it is temporary. Stronghold, says Borum. The office building, I think, usually has a safe. But the safe often doesn't have anything good in it. Kaiser is saying it's stronghold as well. Let's hit it up. Again, we're pretty low on anything useful. I'm going to need that uh, hatchet back since I broke my spine earlier. Alright, here's Fred's fort straight up. I'm gonna hit it up early because there's a decent chance it has a weapon worth our time in it. Just try and thin the herd a bit with this. If only they knew about throwing the furniture before the zombocalypse. gonna load up. Guys are on two by fours so that he always has something to attack with. Cap is strong but he's not strong enough to throw that um, that sofa there. Yeah, those two by fours just do not last long. There we go, the herd is sufficiently thinned. Let's check this fort out. Oh dear. I don't want to risk poor Caps here, he only has one health. And that is, that is such a burden for the journey. Oh, is that my beloved 2x4? I think it is, and now it's Kaiser's beloved 2x4. Shame. I love the weapon, but it is good that Kaiser actually gets something he can use. Oh, that was unintended. Forgot that I had the shotgun. We're gonna miss that uh, that shell. Exciting though. Well, we got zombo points, but we have so many zombo points that we should really figure out how to spend them. Hopefully, we find Tanomi at a uh, trader camp soon. 
Yeah, another, um, another shotgun. Multiple shotguns are good if you really need to bring a lot of shotgun ammo to a fight, but that's usually only if you are at the final, um... Oh wow, you prefer the screwdriver over a plank of wood? Could somebody get me the stats for the screwdriver, please? I'd like to know if it's any good at all. Or if it's just rubbish. Oh, that's some ouchy spray. That is certainly worth our time. Depends how fully loaded it is. Hopefully very fully loaded. Two sprays in it, not bad. Kaiser says that his shooting should be pretty good. Pretty good shooting doesn't matter much for a shotgun because it's a spray and pray kind of weapon. But Kepa has really good shooting, and if you level it up just once, you have somebody with max shooting who should ace all of the shooting checks for the game, provided you keep Kep's alive. Screwdriver, 0 0.7 power, unbreakable. Alright, how about Knitting Needle, then? I don't know how the AI prioritizes their weapon picks, but... There you go, friend. Screwdriver is complete crap, says FPQC. Perhaps, but our, uh, our options right now are pretty crap. So let's hope we find some decent melee weapons. I mean, a decent melee weapon is worth a stop on its own. Getting a scythe from the uh, from the farmers, or getting death's scythe, or finding the golden knife for the flame sword in the spooky dungeon, all pretty good. It's getting late already. Let's try to pick up the pace here. I need two shotguns, so let's shove some stuff in the trunk. Evidently we don't need this knitting needle. zombies. No guarantee that that house is worth getting into all that trouble for. Since again, these zombies are irritated and there are quite a few of them. And that house could be straight up nothing, but let's not throw our chances away just yet. This might be a manageable horde. But after nine o'clock, we are out of here. might call it greed, and maybe it is greed, but I still want to, uh, I should have grabbed a flashlight, but it's too late now, still want to know if it's at least worth our time heading in there, if it's just a ruin. Oh? It's got potential, hell it's got ammo for us, it's got another shotgun! In and out, no messing about, it's got a lot of food, I like lots of food. Every bit of food is needed, especially when you have a gourmand on your team. I have really invented a lot of trouble for ourselves with inviting that zombie horde around. Okay, it's getting real late. This is risky. What happened to the red highlight? Um, Twitch dashboard pop out. Well, Twitch, Twitch dashboard in general got upgraded. So I think a bunch of my stuff ain't working now. Alright, let's, uh, let's 
get out of here. I'm glad we made that extra call. Oh, ooh. come on then. Let's get in. Good. These guys know to get in the car. Whew. Worth it. It's just another day in the death road when someone farts in the car. Drama and mystery consume the team. Pick someone to blame. Kepa could tell everyone to cool it. Frozen Kaiser could solve the mystery, or we could blame Lenaru or Frozen Kaiser. This would bring up our coolatometer, but I don't know what the effects on morale are. People tend to be happy other than Caps. Solve the mystery, says Lenaru. Frozen Kaiser is also saying that he's the greatest detective in history. Oh, okay, so Worm gets overruled again. It's time to solve the mystery. Oh, it was Kepa, and we've made Kepa very unhappy. In secret, it was actually Frozen Kaiser who was the fart monster. So, Kepa's morale is rock bottom now, and uh, Frozen Kaiser's loyalty is revealed to be garbage, and he's pretty smug about that. Big mistakes have been made. I wish I had a bigger gun, says Kepa. Well, how about you put back those guns you found before you sneak off in the middle of the night? Which is what I think you're about to do. Oh, not quite. Kepa gets a much-needed morale increase. In the morning, they find a golf ball putter. And while uh, searching, they play a quick game. Kepa loses the ball on per... Oh, God, Kepa. <laughs> There's no resurrection for you, Kepa. While uh, driving the car, Kepa gets into a big argument with Frozen Kaiser. Do we keep driving? Does Kepa drive faster? Or do we take a break for a day? Taking a break will probably improve morale, which is much needed for Kepa. Because you told him that he farted in the car when it was you, Kaiser. Otherwise, we're going to get these awful events. It's time to go faster, says Kaiser. Lenharu wishes to take a break. Worm also wishes to take a break. The group stops the car and set up camp so that Kepa and Kaiser can get some space. It works, but it wastes a day. So that, basically we spent seven food to stop having more horrible morale issues. Alright, we find an abandoned safe house and there's a little bit of ammo inside. We've also got some unfinished pipe bombs, but messing with them could be very dangerous. Kepa probably doesn't have very good mechanical, so it would be very dangerous for him to finish them. What will we do? Okay, Kaiser is trying to throw the run. We'll have to unthrow it. Leave them alone, says Worm. Well, we ain't touching those then. This expense on food is dangerous. Alright, let's hit up the trader camp. Oh, it's Tanomi. Don't we know him? Gas, medical... Or even more medical. Uh, you know what, I'm taking that gas. Yoink. I carry only the best stuff, says somebody who's revving a chainsaw. Sadly, I can't take the chainsaw off of her, even if I kill her, which is something we tried before. Buy my bombs. We could tell this guy to cool it, or of course buy a bomb if we feel suicidal. And then there's somebody who will teach us fitness training. For six food we could train one person, but then we'd be mega low on food, and food is a problem. So, three traders, not a lot of dosh to do with them, and there's always coolatometer. What'll we do? I will not volunteer anybody else to rob ever again, says Lenharu. Yeah, that, uh, that fairly ruined the run, but hey, that's part of the fun. Worm insists that we cool the fitness person. Say it, don't spray it. Her reaction is mostly disappointment. We, yeah, well, have fun getting eaten by zombies. She jogs backwards until she's out of sight. The group is so embarrassed, they're forced to leave the camp. So the coolatometer is at one. Oh my god, Kappa, could you stop being so miserable? Kaiser, stop trying to throw the run! 
The group spends so much effort drive, uh, arguing with each other, they've driven into the middle of an overwhelming sea of zombies. Okay. Do we fight the army of zombies for two hours in an army of death with no real weapons, or do we give up on the journey to Canada? At this point, he's doing actively trying to have a breakdown, says Scroll. Fight, of course, says Worm, but Kaiser said I never wanted to go to Canada anyway. Alright, let's fight, says Lenaru. Let's fight the army of zombies. Uh, with what exactly? A screwdriver, a chef's knife, and a half-loaded shotgun. This might be survivable for an hour, but two, not near Ned Kelly. Out of ammo! Back a bit low, uh, lads! Do us a favor and attract all the zomb. That's a lot of zombies. <sighs> you have died on the death road to Canada. I don't want to entirely blame Frozen Kaiser for that, but he did everything to throw that run, and that just went. Pretty terribly. Pretty very terribly. Uh, it barely lasted any time, so my question to the chat is who thinks they can do a lot better than those three miserable scrubs? If you do, then step up. If you don't have a character, then we can create you, and we will brave the death road once again. Worm, you just tried. You can't step up and say you. I'm seeing Death Shed and Titan 84, and I think we have both of you, right? Do, do, do. Titan 84, the Mega Buff Bandit. Don't tell me we'd... No, we didn't delete uh, Death Shed. The inventive gun collector. These perks and traits uh, still to your liking? If so, then choose the game mode and we'll get going. We can always change up your characters if you feel reinvented. Kaiser should have rolled down the window for that fart. Can't believe you blamed Kappa for it. What a monster. Just because there's a special looking option doesn't mean you're any good at it. Alright, Death Shed is saying, yep, then pick your... Uh, pick your game mode and we'll go. Whilst you're figuring that out, I am going to figure out how to... get my red highlights back. I think I might have a way.
All right, thank goodness. I got my red highlights back. It seems that uh, Death, Shed, and Titan are happy with how they are, and they also want to brave the Kappa mode. Only one group has ever won it. It was Asidious. He can, he can basically take all the credit. So, who wants to be our... Um, who wants to be our Kappa this time? Pizza Punt says, don't let me. I don't know if that's some kind of reverse psychology. Off Serium says, I'll make sure to open the window when I fart. That's good news. You can be our Kappa. Now let's go. So, Titan hears rumors that Canada is a safe place free from the threat of zombies. Scavenge for all the ammo you can. Build up the skills of your team. You'll need to become stronger. Yes. Yes, we will. A lot stronger. Let's hit that road. So Titan, as a bandit, has crappy composure and loyalty. Death Shed, we don't know mentally other than their great wits. But their mechanical isn't too bad. We really want to train that up. And Kepa, as ever, is pretty good at fighting. Oh, we got a pistol to start. Oh, of course, you've got, uh, you've got the guns as the gun collector. If only you were any good at firing them. Otherwise, we have a drying pan, a metal pipe, and Kepa's cardboard tube. But what are we going to do first? The Yolmark, the Quiet Factory, or the Quiet Hotel? Also, welcome to the family, Tiberius. How did the last run end? It was only 20 minutes away. Oh, it went, uh, it went garbage. All right, seems we want to hit up the Yolmark. They're thick, but they're sluggish. Let's get that untouched loot. We're going to switch out a bit here, give Kappa the great weapon, because since he's so strong, he can wield a metal pipe with relative ease. Now you see our friend Titan may be mega buff, but that's not as buff as good old Kep's is. Ugh, useless room. Another useless room. The toilets are all, uh, all spoken for. This is even worse than the last you all marked. Also, for some reason, Titan decided to go over and get himself nibbled. I don't mind taking big fights in these storage rooms because they have all these boxes that are really useful for throwing. But wow, what a crummy Walmart. I'm happy to get the gas, 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 but this whole place is a load of ass, ass, ass. Alright, well, let's go. At least we got a bit of gas. Otherwise, we're out of here. Now we'll find out who the best medic is when we try and heal up, well, yeah, when we try and heal up Titan. As an American, I'd like to carry a gun at all times, says Deathshed. Too bad. Okay, so Kepa's morale starts going down. Again. Sensing a theme here. Titan is apparently our best medic. They're a bandit and they're mega buff. I can't see any reason that they'd have any medical skill at all. The group drives into the city, it starts to get dark. 
fear the night. Things can get bad after the sunset. It's moderate, uh, moderate zombies. They're sluggish. What do we find there? Is it a bar? Or is it a pharmacy? The bar says death shed. Titan wants the pharmacy. And Osirium is backing up the pharmacy as well. No doubt Titan wants to heal his wounds, so it's a bit of a waste going to the pharmacy, but hey, we'll do it anyway. There's not really any ammo for your guns. Come to think of it, didn't we start with some bullets? I swear we did. Oh, that's why Kappa's hoarding the bullets. Kappa's also going to carry one flashlight so we don't run into the problem we had last time of it getting too dark too soon. Alright, Small Greens Drugstore. Give us the drugs. Jinx, this is a moderate number of zombies. And a pathetic amount of medical, aid, uh, medical care. I can't be the only one that saw that. Um, that saw that shopping cart go flying. Breather here. I'd kill for some better weapons. Actually, I'd kill for most things at this point. Not that plastic spoon, though. Whoa, God. Uh, Titan's just keen on getting himself hurt all the time. To be super swole, man. Carry yourself a bit better. Take this knife, it might be better for you than that, um, than the drying pan. Kappa mode is truly where good weapons. They truly get good weapons or die early. Yeah, I'm seeing that. Dying early. Night is on its way. Toilet genie, save us. Well, takes 25 toilets opened to bring out the genie. Normally it's uh, 100, but we've leveled up Toilet Genie a long way. Am I fighting with a cardboard tube? Asks Death Shed. Yes, you are. Times are hard, even for the most hardened American. Uh oh, music's going. Spent all those zombo points on gas as well. Do, 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 do. That cardboard tube is doing a remarkable job of holding up right now. There's nothing over there, nothing but loads of zombies and very spooky music and imminent death. Ah. I like how I went to the pharmacy and ended up with more food than at the Yalmart Caesarium. Yeah, ten food there. We only got nine at the other one, I think. Still, what a rubbish, uh, rubbish haul. Enough to heal Titan, at least, but 
That's no good thing. Because it cost us four medical. Okay, the group finds an isolated car garage and sees the sign Master Tuners. They find some gas, lots of spare parts, and it's in good condition. We could repair the car and tune up, drive away, or repair and fine tune the car for three days. Death Shed is our best, me best mechanic, and he only has two points in mechanic. So, what are we gonna do? I don't know if he'd get any better at mechanic doing this. Could be a nice investment to keep the car going. Car repair and tune up, says Death Shed, but Titan just wants to drive away. What does Off Sirium think? Uh, sure, car repair and tune up. Death Shed tries to repair the car in the hope that it goes a little further. He wastes a day's time pretending to work on the car. It looks all beat up, but it's still sturdy. Okay, so we achieved nothing there. We just wasted a day. And morale is getting lower and lower. Oh boy. Okay, we could pick berries all night to get a tiny amount of food, or we could go to sleep. What are we gonna do? Yeah, if you want, uh, if you want good mechanical, you gotta stack two skills for it. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Nobody wants to be tired. They're all very afraid of being tired. Okay, we're checking out a trashed up house with bottles and tattered rags, but Death Shed thinks he could make some molotovs with the spare gas. Will we do that? We have 132 gas, and we tend to kill ourselves with molotovs, or do we just leave the house? Titan wishes to make two molotovs. I can't even begin to imagine why, but that's what he says. And Death Shed's backing it up. It's time to make two mollies. Be careful with these. Might need them for the siege, actually. Outside of Canada, blah blah blah. Let's head up that trader camp. We've got a doglet here, wanting to sell lots of bullets. That will kill Kappa if we try to rob it. Isura is tired of being stuck in the camp. She will join you for a small fee of five food. They claim to be great at fixing cars and machineries. She promises that if something breaks, she can fix it. Hey, it's Tanomi. Don't we know him? We could get a battle rodent, some shotgun ammo, or 24 bullets. I wonder if the battle rodent's any good. Oh, we have a lot of Z points, so I might use it. And then there's somebody who can give us some health care, but everybody's fully healed. And then there's bullets. Eight bullets for every food item is a terrible deal. I'll tell you what, I'm going to get that rodent. Whenever you need help, look to the stars. Okay. Anything you want from the camp, otherwise we're getting out of here. Come on team, we need snap decisions, can't just sit in your thumbs here. Recruit the girl, says Death Shed, but we now have a full party. Can you try to rob the bullet lady? It will kill Kappa, right? Uh, it will almost certainly kill Kappa. She'll pull out guns and shoot us. Oh wait, that's FPQC trying to chime in. Man, you need to shut your trap sometimes. Okay, nothing, then we're getting out of here. Welcome to a new world, a world of rodent. These words from Tonomi echo in your mind. Gnort joins the team. We don't know much about Gnort, but it eats a little, very little food, and it has the shield of hope. Gnort is a freakishly large, gnomeless rodent. I think it's some kind of gerbil. Lenharu says, I am the chosen rodent. On you go then. Better luck this time. Nort is already making Titan sad, though. Okay, we find a new person. Tressy. She's alone and wants to join the team. She claims to be a great shot, but uh, shoots a rubber band off of her finger to show her aim, but misses. Kepa has a gut feeling that this is the truth. 
We could bring Tressie along, but then we'd have to ch we'd have to throw out somebody. Leave Tressie. We have a rat. Is Kappa paranoid? No, but no. Paranoid, I think, is high wits, low attitude. But he has no wits and no attitude. All right, leave Tressie behind. Away she goes. Damn, Team Bald could have become a thing. Siege alert, there's no escape. It's an overwhelming amount of zombies in the late morning. We gotta last for 0.7 hours with our very little anything. All right, caps. We don't need this, but I'll bring these Molotovs. And Death Shed says he likes having a gun on him. Hell, you can have guns on you. Tell you what, I'm taking this one. This is pretty bad. This is very bad. There's not a good way to uh, cycle around this. Alright, we got this going for us. And we got some fire going for us. Take that, suckers. Uh-oh, they're taking it all right. All right, time to get out of here. Well, time for some of us to get out of here. We lost a guy, but he was bald, so he probably wasn't worth much. Did he have anything good on him, though? Mm, probably not. Let's go. Our mega buff bandit is gone, but maybe we shed the dead weight if the bandit has bought it. Nort is our best medic, though. Hooray for that. Okay, we feel inspired after man to sh managing to shed half the bald dead weight. What's our reward for it? Morale and random skill gain, fitness medical, or plus one to all of battle rodents skills? What'll it be? Medical says uh, Sirium. Give me those skills, says Lenharu. Morale and random skill gain says Death Shed. Someone is going to have to seed because we've got a three way here. Battle Rodent has amazing stats, so he doesn't really do a lot of damage, says FPQC. Okay. Well, one of the team members needs to see it, and they're all sticking to their guns. Snap decision, folks. That's what we need. Can't have these uh, death rotors that just sit in their thumbs here. Frozen Kaiser says, give the rat skill. You're not on the team, Frozen. You're dead. Do we know any of the rat stats? No, we do not. And I don't think this tells us what they are, either. Lenharu says he will not budge, right? At least that's conviction. Let's get you all those skills. Alright, we're sitting around the campfire, resting for a brutal day tomorrow. We eat a decent meal of five food. Do we tell some scary stories, or do we just go to sleep? We don't have a lot of food, and telling scary stories will keep us uh, awake through the night, making us tired. Just go to sleep, says Death Shed. And again, they're the only one actually making decisions here. Fair enough, you're going to sleep. Sometimes it seems worth it to run past a horde instead of fighting. Chimes in Death Shed, and he's not incorrect. Okay, the group is delighted to have found an overturned Codwell's Cot Cod Contractor's truck. Hot and ready system still functioning. So let's grab that cod, stink up the joint, and it's 24 food. No oh, everyone's super happy. Right. Oh, that car is about to pop. Well, at least we kept the mechanic. Shame he's not very good at it. 
All right, do we hit up the convenience mart or the apartment with a bark banner? We don't have any friends of dog. But we might be able to recruit dogs with food if we want an animal team. Why aren't you using older leader breaks the ties rule, says Asidious, because sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. Apart with the bank banner, Syria wants the convenience mart, Lenharu also says mart. Let's stock up on that food then. Shouldn't need that molly. Maybe mollies are good, but uh, they, don't send, they don't tend to work out for me. I wonder if Nort is really fast. He feels really fast. Shop and go, or go and shop. Hey, we might be able to solo levels with Nort. Just send in Nort, he's really fast. And he'll just take care of everything. He can't pick things up though, which is a colossal downside actually. How is a slightly enlarged and rodent? Sturdier than a grown man, exactly. Look, Kepa is a fragile individual. He tells others to cool it when secretly it is him who wishes to cool. Zombie survival guide would have you believe. And the golf club's a decent weapon in Death Road to Canada. Most sporting weapons are. They just break rather easily. Do you still live in Sweden, Jake? Yes, yes I do. What a place to be. from great. Let's grab the last of what we can, which is nothing, and get out of here. Hey, this looks like an extension of the uh, convenience store. Ooh, and it's even more convenient. What is with this Death Road to Canada trend of having the better stuff not in the main place that you elect to go to? It's very inconsiderate. Ooh. What a weird place. A weird customer. Scotland is nice, says someone that's never been to Scotland. Triple eight. All right, the music's about to go in five seconds or so. I think it's one second per minute in the game. Oh, I'm lost. Where are we even going? It's a bad time to be lost. Let's go. It's about to become platinum spooky. Oh man, but there's still more city up here. This is 
going to go on the list of big mistakes. No, too big a mistake. can't wield anything. Well, this car is it's still going, but only just. Alright, it's getting late. There's no great place to camp. So the zombies hobble around in a far distance. One might sneak up on the group. Who should stay up and watch? It should, it should be somebody who's loyal. We don't know if Death Shed is loyal. We don't know if Nort is loyal, but since they're a shield of hope, you'd think they are. Jake, that's going to make soloing with Nort difficult if you can't... Yeah, that's what I said when I thought about uh, soloing Nort. It's not about not getting a flashlight. It's not being able to, uh, to pick up anything. So if there's something really good, like a death scythe, Nort can't take it. Take shifts, says Deathshed. Lenaro wants Nort to do it. So does Ofsarium. Nort stands watch for roaming zombies. He falls asleep almost instantly. The group wakes up in the middle of being eaten. Kappa is killed. Nort's loyalty is revealed to be rock bottom. At least we eat a decent meal. Well, goodbye Kappa. We all have one health left as well. And we're surprisingly happy about it. Oh dear, oh dear. Well now. When traveling down a peaceful yet boring stretch of road, Nort sees a weird, weird cloud. The cloud looks just like your dad, several big flexing biceps, or rain. What do we see out there? When Haru sees your dad. Whereas Deathshed has a whole lot of not much to say. Your dad, okay. The cloud looks exactly like Nort Daz. Nort's dad, nice, 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 nice. It's our lucky day. Probably raises morale, but we already have maximum morale. Okay, when driving on the death road, we decide to make a stop. Do we do an apartment rescue or hit up the hardware store? Hardware store could have a chainsaw. Not that we have a lot of fuel for it now, but we might later. And again, apartment rescue would get us a person. Hardware store, they both say. All right, let's do it. There may be cans of gas or a chainsaw. It's morning. It's sluggish. They're very thick. Let's go shopping. I'd love to give you a weapon, but... Uh, hammer sucks. I like the spine. Ditch that. And you're taking a rifle so you can still shoot things at least. This car ain't gonna last. Well, that's fuel. I'll take fuel. I'll also take 2x4. Yoink. Oh, you're bad with this weapon. Too slow. Very much too slow. All that gun collecting is just for show. A couple of uh, toilets, perhaps the elusive toilet genie can save us here. Toilet genie.
got to rely on ammunition when you don't have the soul or the fitness or the good weapons. Looks like the pickaxe has 50% chance to hit twice, is that correct? I really don't like weapons that have chance-based extra hits because it's very difficult to actually plan around using the weapon. Wait, ah. Okay, I would love the stats on this, please. It seems we got ourselves some kind of saw blade. Yeah, hedge trimmer blows, I don't want that. I quite like this weapon, though. This does hit twice. Not point seven power, one knockback, one extra hit for the uh, for the saw. Oh my days! Look at this garbage we're finding. All right, let's take this. Not very good, but at least it blows zombies back. I'm not saying these guys are doomed, I'm just saying the odds aren't good for them. Also, they're doomed. Ah, the extra hit is just 20% chat. Okay, that's a huge, um, a huge thing to keep in mind. Oh, a sledgehammer is a good weapon, but... Tell you what, the car is right outside. Sledgehammer is a good weapon if you're swole. You know what? I'm thinking it's maybe not worth the chance. You're in the car, right, Nort? The car is broken down. I guarantee you, you cannot fix this. So you need at least smiley face mechanical to fix it. Of course you could try punching the car. Who knows, that might work. It won't. Too bad the only swole guy was eaten, says Zara. Yeah, well, the two swole guys were eaten. On the plus side, we have enough meals to make it all the way to Canada. Lenharu says, I can fix it. No, y you can't fix it. Death Shed says he wants to punch the car. He just smashes the car hood. Okay, the car is abandoned. He breaks some bones in his hand. His morale goes down, his strength is revealed. Actually, that's a pretty good way to reveal strength. Nort doesn't notice a hole in his backpack. And we lose a day's worth of food. And we lose another day's worth of food at a peaceful camp. Nort does not have the skills to fix us up, sadly. It's sardine packed. It's late at night. Let's investigate some cars. I suppose I could leaf blow my way to victory. Uh... Oh well, let's do it. Oh shoot, it's late at night and I forgot the flashlight. Out of my way, zombie scum. Oh no, 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 I need that! This might be one of those significantly underrated uh, weapons. Pretty hard to aim though. Intensely hard to aim. Do de do de do de do de do. Worth it. Come on, Nort. It's our very own. Works utility vehicle. Just gotta get those zombies out of the way. <sighs> they just can't get in the car. 
Death Shed comes across a house by the road. It's locked. While trying to smash the door down, a voice calls out, Leave my door alone, you dinks. Do we try to recruit this weirdo? Or is Death Shed not a dink? Try to recruit, says Death Shed, who can now make 100% of, uh, of the decisions. Fine, whatever. Cliff comes out. He's not a very, uh, not a very nice guy. But he holds an Ataku Katana. He smells funny and not ha-ha funny. Okay, well, let's go. Decent meal, crummy mileage. Onwards to Canada. Scipio says he's decisive. Let him in. On you go then, Scipio. A deer is stopped in the middle of the road, staring at the car. We could leave it alone, run it over, or shoot it. Shooting would reveal your shooting skill, which I'm gonna guess isn't very good. And it'll probably kill you when the deer retaliates. What'll you do? Let me shoot it, says Death. Goodbye, Death Shed. Oh well, how about that? He whiffs it, but it doesn't, uh, it doesn't kill you. Well, we've learned that your shooting is actually passable. Alright, we explore a fairly quiet city. Good chance to resupply. Do we check out the police station or the camp supply shop? Could get ourselves a machete here. Could get ourselves some guns and maybe even some ouchie spray here. Camp supplies, says Death Shed. On we go then. Still keeping this leaf blower. It's a nice get out of jail free card. Our, uh, our weeb can carry anything else. Fishing pole, nice. Oh wow, three hits on the uh, three hits on the pitchfork. I continue to like this. Oh, is rubbish. Oh no, please don't use the. Ooh, blowtorch. That weapon sucks, but that really sucks. I guess, to its credit, it's a ranged weapon that does not uh, aggro zombies. I, I would kind of like you to carry the fishing pole. Yeah, Alright, fair enough. Please don't break it. Ooh! Finding all the good stuff here. But I'd rather have the dolt than the pistol. bat. We're running real low on space for things we want to grab. I say to heck with this thing. Let's grab the baseball bat and give you that. And let's go. The blowtorch, you have to get real close and it takes some time to set the zombies on fire. Also it's fire and I don't do well with fire in this game. Yeah, the game has a real problem with overlapping sinks and ovens. It's been around for a while. Gosh, darn it. Gosh, you broke everything. Well, we're not going back for the blowtorch. Couldn't even kill a down zombie with a point blank chair throw. Alright, 
useless house, let's go. This weapon's got its uses. It's also very fuel efficient. So if we're backed into a corner, we can just use it forever, but I'd like to have something else that carries fuel because it's Toilet Genie! Death Shed opens the toilet, a magical genie appears. Thanks for freeing me from the toilet. Now make a wish. Do you want to be rich? Do you want immortality? Or do you want to ask if he's one of those evil genies? Scipio insists on their own immortality. What does Death Shed say? Toilet Genie, you're a bit late. Hey, I think Immortality might get a full heal on Death Shed. I'm not sure. Well, Death Shed, you're waiting way too long. Immortality for Scipio. Wow, okay. Madness. There we go. Vitality increase, so four hit points on Cliff. Meanwhile, the one guy who's doing everything stays with one hit point. That was, uh... I'm not gonna tell you how to make your choices, I'm just saying that was an awful choice. can throw chair oh okay well let's just retreat god these guys are so weak go. Whew. Only ten driving days left till Canada on what is quite possibly the worst. No, this isn't the worst run, but it's a terrible run. Alright, let's keep going. Sometimes it's worth it just to pay off bandits, says Death Shed. Morale is sky high, at least. We come into a sturdy building, and we could tinker if we want to make a lot of noise. It'll make us tired, but we have crummy strength and fitness anyway. But we might just get some passable mechanical if we do so. What'll we do? Go to sleep, says Death Shed. Oh my. Alright, we run into some other people. They're attempting to run a small farm. They offer eight food in exchange for some help. Hauling and hauling, repair work, tilling, or we could have no time to help. We don't have anyone with abnormal strength, because both of those got eaten already, so we're unlikely to get a nice scythe out of this. Otherwise, what happens? Tilling and planting, says Death Shed, but Scipio wants Death to do labor. Well, Scipio comes in first, on you go. There we go, we get a mechanical increase on Death Shed, and they're grateful for the work, so thanks for the, the food. That's a great event, although he's tired from doing all that. Alright, we have loads of food. Let's hope this trader camp has loads of everything for us. Looks like Kepa's dad is here, wanting us to buy his bombs. Cliff is a horrible person, so he can tell people to cool it. And we can sell weapons for food if we want to, but we don't. 
Here's somebody that'll sell us um, lots of stuff, actually. Assault rifle, Uzi, and 12 grenades. All, all available to us. Do we want any of them? Not many choices, but they're your choices to make. What are the requirements for cool it? Low composure and low attitude, I believe. Alright team, make some decisions or we're out of here. Alright, Scipio says it's time to cool. Cool it. You cool it. The mood gets pretty tense and we gotta leave. Cliff remarking on the state of death road to Canada today. Okay. Oh, no. We're caught in the open in the streets. There's no hope in this siege in late afternoon for an hour. The only hope we have is this leaf blower. Here's a magnum. This melee weapon's not going to do us anything. I'll take a molotov instead. Alright, let's hope for the best, but plan for the worst. He's so weak, he can't start up the leaf blower! Uh. Well, dang it. Imagine being so tired you can't even start up a leaf blower. Well, these runs have just been going bad to worse. What we need is somebody in chat who can really rise up above all these scrub lords. Who can do it? Who can brave the death road? Make yourself known. If you don't have a character, we'll create one for you, and then we'll get going. Void Scroll says, I fit the role. I only make that bad decision 75% of the time. That sounds pretty awful. Alright, what we're gonna do is have Rudels37 and Weirdo Cat. But we need characters for you, so we need your perk. Look at all these. And we need your trait. Look at all these. And we need these fast, alright? I can't do with people that just sit around, otherwise I'm gonna let somebody else steal your spot. So, chime in with it in chat and we'll get going. Weirdo Cat says, Phoenix, any perk, frantic whiner says, I don't take any perk, you choose what you are. I need decisive people for this, I can't do with such wishy-washy nonsense. So Weirdo Cat says, Phoenix with hidden potential. Oh, how about the looks, I guess it doesn't really matter, hey this guy looks good enough. Oh wait, no it's executable, can't have that, let's rando you up. Oh, that's a bit too Dr. Marsange for me. Weirdo cat. Trademark where? No, it's hidden potential. Hidden potential in Phoenix. So the phoenix actually rises from the death if they get uh, if they get killed. And uh, sorry, pikeman, but goodbye. Okay, how about Rudels wants explorer and frantic whiner? Explorer is really good. Frantic whiner is really not. Takes one less hit than normal and bad attitude. Ooh. Oh well, that's Rudels for you. Alright, which game mode are you running? Goodbye, lizard. Phew. 
endless mode, says Weirdo Cat. They want to uh, they want to challenge the high score that we've had before. All right, fair enough. Can anyone remember what the high score for the previous scrubs were? I had a I had a quick thing made here, didn't I? Didn't I? Ah, there we go. It was Sid and Surfer Rosa, but I didn't take down the number of days they lasted. Probably 40 something. All right, let's go. Oh god, you're not very happy, are you? Okay, you got nothing to uh, to gain, but Canada is a long way away. You just started the endless journey. It's a thousand days to Canada. All right, what'll it be? House on the road, the rest stop, the Walmart, or the Quiet Factory? You get four choices because you have an explorer on the team. Explorer is a great trait. Pardon me. Great trait. You'll want that. Rudels twiddles her thumbs nearly constantly, whilst Weirdo Cat was really well suited for the post-apocalypse, mostly due to being a jerk. You're equipped with a cane and a nothing. Yalmart says Weirdo. And I'm not seeing anything from Rudels, which makes me a bit worried, so let's just take up Yalmart. Let's go bargain hunting. Man, frantic whiners are a pain. Only two hit points, bad attitude. Well, bad attitude isn't all that terrible because it makes you, uh, it makes you well suited for being a jerk. Stealing from people. Oh, okay, well we have no weapons. Let's switch that out for a racket. When I said most sports weapons are good, I was evidently not thinking about the racket. Sunshine, let's get a weapon for you. I'm maining the frantic whiner purely for the uh, purely for the speed. Thankfully, these are some sluggish zombies that we can just navigate around. Ooh, hammer sucks, but it's our hammer. Now, we're, think we're thinking about our characters here. You're an explorer, which is good to keep around, but otherwise, yeah. Hidden potential. Weirdo cat will be good at something, or at least passable at something. We just don't know what. Okay, was that it? That was, um... Actually half-decent on the gas, but not half-decent at anything else. Let's go. Perhaps not the most uh, profitable, but it was clean. Let's go. Hidden potential only refers to strength and fitness. How about that, FB? Okay, we need to siphon out some gas. Who's going to do it, Weirdo or Rudels? It'll hurt, it'll hurt morale and leave you tired. But otherwise, it's fairly harmless. Who's going to do it? Waiting until morning. I think that always makes you lose the gas. I'll do it, says Weirdo Cat. On you go. Rudels, you need to tag me, otherwise I have a very hard time seeing things in chat. He gets really sick that night, so morale double down. But he took one for the team there. Maybe we should turn back. Maybe we should shut up. Down goes his morale further. Try to stay on top of things, Weirdo. Moderate and calm zombies for an afternoon raid. What do we see of interest? Is it a gun shop or an athletic store? Athletic store tends to have nothing good. Mm. Ah. Gun shop says Rudels. Athletic store says Weirdo. Rudels is first. Let's go gun stopping. And let's be fast about it. Because we don't have any weapons apart from this rubber mallet. They appear to be uh, coming in after us already. And we're too weak to even pick up a little corner stool. Remember when I said we have no weapons? 
where I oh dear god. Get over here. Up and around and out. And out and well, it was nice knowing him. Wait, where is his corpse? Weirdo cat is now half human, half skeleton, half phoenix. Back for vengeance. Oh, that's right, he has the phoenix trait. I don't know what to make of that. He's still tired, though. All that resurrected really takes it out of you. There's a bone, let's grab it and go. He's not fighting or something stupid, is he? No, he's just plain old stupid. You only get to be a phoenix once, so count yourself pretty dang lucky. My question is, how is a skeleton bleeding, says someone in chat? Well, don't question it. Hmm. We are so ill-suited for combat. Deathshed brings up a good point. Why would we not just take a boat to Cuba instead? Perhaps everybody here's uh, massive Scarface fans. And the last thing they'd ever do is go to Cuba. Alright, slightly better weapon here, although it will break. At least until it breaks, it's pretty decent. Come on, half human, half skeleton, half phoenix. Chris a complex says, I made a haiku about subscribing to you. I have some regrets. Beautiful. Now you get yourself a drying pan, which is not a good weapon, but it is a weapon. Let's go. Not a bad haul, really. Ten food and some bullet. <sighs> Alright, the group runs into another car which, much like their car, is rotting, nearly totaled and full of skeletons and probably a bunch of bugs and other things. Yet another sign that many attempt the death road, yet not very many make it. Should we dismantle the car for parts, although Weirdo Cat's probably not any good at doing that. Should we search the car for loot, or do we leave the car alone? Full of skeletons though, yikes. Search for loot, says Rudels, and Weirdo wants to dismantle. Well, Weirdo, you're too slow. We're searching for that loot. We take what supplies we can. The trunk is completely stuffed with rolls of toilet paper. Unfortunately, it's all rotten and full of bugs. What a letdown. Ooh, double, double decrease in morale for Weirdo. Would have been better if he just died. Can't we all just get along? Okay, we get a, a very much needed morale increase for Weirdo Cat. Should we sing a song or plan out tomorrow? Singing a song will raise morale if your attitude is good. Rudel's is not, and Weirdo's is almost certainly also not. Rudel's could plan out tomorrow. We don't know if they'll be any good at it. Weirdo wishes to sing a song, which is probably a very, very bad idea, but they insist we do it. Mm, well, attitude for Weirdo Cat is passable, so they don't take the morale hit. Incredible. Uh, 
All right, Rudels has an idea. We could make Molotovs with some spare gas. I mean, I very much don't recommend it, but it's up to you. I mean, we saw how good the Molotovs did us in the last siege. Not a whole lot. I actually do not see the value in Molotovs. They create this little burning area for not very long a time. And fire is... Sure, it's good against zombies, but I wish it was a whole lot better. Just leave, they say. Let's get out. Is there such thing as spare gas? There is not. You always want all the gas. Can't stop thinking about Mondays and how I hate them, says Rudels. Okay, we can trade. Or, oh, it's a fire sale. Hello, Tanomi. Help us here. Shotgun, shotgun ammo, or three medical. And none of those really appeal. At all. Save up our zombo points for now. Okay, it's a... Uh, I can't believe I caught fire there. I'm having a fire sale, absolutely everything must go. Shotgun shells, molotovs, or a sturdy machete. What will we get? Dang, I actually caught fire there, that's madness. What do we get? Sturdy machete, says Weirdo Cat. A good choice. You know, I've always hated this location. Too many skeletons. Okay, are we getting anything else? Because uh, 30 shotgun shells for 3 food is a great deal. 9 molotovs for 10 food is actually also a great deal, but uh, that's a lot of food. Everything must go taken to the extreme. Thirty shells, says Weirdo Cat. Yoink. Not the Molotovs. Alright, well let's leave this uh, chump to his fate. Yeah, let's take this medical because I just got us burned a bit. So our file, fire salesman is going to have a bit of trouble there. some unbreakable weapons, even if they're not that good. It won't last forever. You'll run out of ammo. Let's just keep our retreat safe. You'll run out of ammo. You'll die. Well, he just did die. And then that shotgun is as good as ours. As good as ours. Yoink. Let's go. Alright, not too shabby. Shame we got hurt, but now we find out who's the best at medical. It's Rudels, who sucks at medical. The group finds a man in a bathroom. The man says nothing. He may be upset that you barged into a bathroom, but his face is expressionless. So who knows? He's purple for some reason. Pinkish purple. Do we recruit this guy or do we leave him be? Recruit, says Rudels. Alright, who wants to be DSYP? He seems to accept your offer. He didn't say anything or even react at all, except he did get into the car. If he doesn't jump out, then it's a done deal. Alright, Void Scroll, you're going to be DSYP. Just as well, though, we'll have to hold our ground for a bit before we can escape as we explore a small house. Glad we picked up that shotgun and all those shotgun shells. I'm not so glad that nobody's any good at shooting. Is Weirdo Cat still tired? They are not. Is DSYP good at anything? He's a star of a very popular game that I can't see the title of. Okay. Well, on the plus side, we actually have guns. Can anybody check the stats on DSYP? Because he doesn't look very useful to me. That's if he has stats. I'll give him this mallet. It's crappy, but it won't break on us. Alright, let's do it.
not the best of locations. Guys, we need all the fighting we can get here. No swole at all, three social. Social? It's a shame about the no swole, fortunately. Thanks to the miracle of firearms, we seem to be doing alright here. As long as you kill the zombies when they fall, we're good. Why do we have DSYP? What, what does he bring to the party? No swole at all. Right, let's just get that. Hmm. Get the heck out of here. Alright. Not bad. Sure, there won't be as much mosquitoes in Canada, but what about grizzly bears, eh? The group feels inspired after managing to survive. What do we do? Morale and random skill gain. We are very low on morale. Mechanical, shooting, or plus two fitness for rudels. If we want these two getting anywhere, we might want to invest in them as people. Morale and random skill, says rudels, and weirdo. Eh, everyone, in fact. There we go. Mechanical for Rudels, Shooting for Weirdo, Medical for DSYP. I'm more impressed about getting the morale though, that's what we need. Alright, we find an abandoned campground. Do we eat marshmallows or tell stories? Telling stories will let us learn about ourselves, which is good because we don't know anything about ourselves. Whereas eating marshmallows will get us extra food and spare us a meal. Weirdo wants the marshmallows, however the other two wish to tell stories. There we go, we find out a lot about each other. All the uh, mental traits are revealed, so this is good for, say, loyalty checks, we're all disloyal. Composure checks, uh, good composure from Weirdo. In fact, Weirdo's a good person to throw into, um, into most situations that have mental checks. All right, we're driving along the death road. It's time to stop for supplies. We could do any of these, but Explorer gets a huge discount on the amount of gas it costs to check out new locations. We're looking good on the gas, but the car will break down soon enough, so you may want to check for something else. Fancy Factory says Rudel. Farm says Weirdo Cat. Explorer is a pretty neat option, just putting it out there, but... It's for a uh, void scroll to chip in on here. Void scroll is siding for the factory. All right, let's do it. The group sees a large factory. It's right. It looked like it was busy before the apocalypse. It's less run down than most others, at least on the outside. Thick and irritated zombies on the inside. I'm still carrying these guns with us though. Maybe I'll take the snub nose off of you. Let's go. Oh dear, oh. Good grief, it really thrusts you into the action there, doesn't it? You sure are irritated. And we have to get back through that if we want to leave, and we will eventually want to leave. Clearing through that a bit. Ah, so that's the fart attack. It's kind of good. I have a feeling that overusing that is going to end DSYP's life. Alright, they took a nibble out of Weirdo Cat, otherwise, we're okay. something good, but no, it's useless. Jake bringing bile demons into death road to Canada. 
Is that, is that hammer any good? It looks good. Alpine hammer. Must at least be better than the mallet, right? Scipio, I believe, said I can only survive for 55 minutes on this. I'll be the judge of that. Uh, area of effect attack. More than I think. Hello, hello. We got ourselves a safe combination. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh dear. Well, DSYP, you got another one in ya? One power. Well, that's better than not one power. Oh, nice. Nice room. Let's take the gas, take the supplies, and get out of here. I don't think there were any doors on the left. I don't recall there being any. Feel clever having locked those zombies away there and take this route. Factories are such a pain, they're so full of zombies with very little breathing space. They've got a lot of things to throw around, but you'd need at least a bit of swole to be able to do that. And we do not have swole on the team, far from it. stats, by the way. I do appreciate people chiming in with the stats, even though I don't always mention it. It helps a long way with making decisions on what to grab and what not to grab, and I can't really do this without a guide spread across my thighs. Oh, it was Lenaru that bet uh, 55 minutes. Scipio saying 45. I'm thinking three hours. This team might look like it sucks, and it does, but I got a good feeling about it. <clears throat> okay. Alright, what was inside the safe? A box of 60 rifle ammo, a submachine gun, a cowboy rifle with 30 ammo, or an assault rifle. What do we find? <coughs> Jake has faith that these guys will die and be replaced with better team members, says Don Emo. Uh, assault rifle for Weird Oak, cowboy rifle for Void, but another one for the assault rifle. Kaching. That's a grenade. When I use grenades, they tend to save the run. So let's dispatch these losers, grab the grenade, and get out of here. It means giving away my beloved machete. But so be it. Alright, just don't use that grenade. Ucha. Screw it. We got what we came for. Let's get out of here. Oh, but there's another room over here. That grenade might come more in handy than I thought. Aha. Uh -huh. Glad we checked here. Right. 
food, glorious food. So how do we contain DSYP's uh, deadly farts? How do we stop them from just exploding on the team? Open window seems like a good solution, says Scroll. Well, as we know with Kaiser, opening the window is not an option. Maybe he'll get better if he opens up toilets. There's a... Ah, nice power on this thing. There is a magazine you can find in the game called Giant Farts Monthly. That might help. Alright, it's getting late here. I, I want out of this place. Dirty machete have chance based multiple hits. Feels like it does. There are events in the game that reduces fart counter by a safe number. The first three are always safe. After that, he has 20% chance of dead after 10 farts is 75. Uh oh. So I can make use of his fart attack three times with impunity. After that, he could die. Sacrifices must be made, DSYP. Also, I would like to leave, please. I'd really, really like to leave, please. Phew, let's go. Not the worst haul. Hey, he's not bad at medical. Maybe he's not bad at mechanical either. That would be very useful to have uh, DSYP as our mechanic. Alright, we have Master of Zombies lady here. She'll teach one of her secret zombie tips as a service to humanity. Should we get a shooting lesson? Toughen up against bites? That will injure us. So let's try not to do that. How to fight with melee? Don't know about that. Or just run away constantly. Which might give us fitness. Toughen up, says Weirdo, who wants us to be at no health. Void Scroll wants to learn how to fight with Malay. As does Rudels. The Master of Zombies enlightens the group on Malay weaponry with some very dangerous training. Strength is revealed and increased. Wow, we were all really bad at. Uh, not all really bad, but. I thought you were meant to have a hidden potential. Oh well, it's somewhere to go, but dang, that's... That's brought us way down. Alright, we find a gas station far off in the main road. Somebody has looted the store and there are no zombies in sight. The gas pumps are old and don't seem to be functioning. Rudels could attempt to fix them with uh, some... Probably pretty rubbish mechanical, probably won't work. DSYP can crawl into the tank. He won't like it, but his morale is pretty good already. Or we could leave the pumps alone. Just because you have the option to fix things doesn't mean it's a good idea. You need to actually have the stats to do the thing that pops up. Void Scroll is saying, I crawl in. Rudels wants to leave. Weirdo wants to fix. Will anybody seed on theirs? If DSYP farts in there, it'll go nuclear, says Cruza. 
I don't think anybody wants to seed, and Weirdo Cat did chime in first, so I guess we're gonna try to fix those pumps. Well, I'll be damned! They attempt to fix the pumps, it takes some fumbling, but she gets the pumps running and we collect 110 gas. That's a phenomenal amount of gas. I have a feeling that going to Canada is a waste of time, says Rudels. It's a waste of a thousand days. Whoa, it's Sea Space Echo! It's nice to see a familiar face. He was found trying to pull open a door that said push on it. He's fierce-tempered and he's a martial artist. Do we bring him aboard or do we leave him behind? Recruit says scroll. Recruit says cat. Do we have Sea Space Echo around, though? Try and poke for them around in the Discord. If not, then Cruza is going to be Sea Space. Sea Space looks really happy as well. Excellent. We got way too much in the way of weaponry around here. Let's lighten our loads a bit. Let's definitely put that grenade away. Mm, not pretty. Ha not very happy with the Malay situation, but oh well. It's nearly time to camp, but there have been a lot of signs of bandits today. Someone needs to be awake in case of an attack. Who should stay up on watch? We would need somebody that's loyal. That might be Sea Space, it might not. If they don't stay awake, Rudels is going to die and everyone else is going to be injured. Rudels has zero loyalty, weirdo. They will fall asleep or wander off and then they will die. Sea Space Echo is chiming in saying, I can do it. Okay. Well, I'll be damned. They have passable loyalty. And they're tired, but hey, we get a decent meal. And we stay alive, more importantly. A lot of injury going on. I hope we find some ouchy spray. Alright, find a street in town that has traps all over it. Pits with blankets, put over the top, snares everywhere, spikes on barrels, a door with an obvious guillotine. Those are just the visible ones. Who should explore for loot? There's great composure on Weirdo. He might be able to do it. Otherwise, Sea Space Echo has a lot of health, so they could fumble around it. Weirdo says, I'll do it. Void Scroll wants Sea Space. Well, maybe, maybe that was for the last one. Not Sea Space, Weirdo. Mm, okay. Well, on you go, Weirdo. Weirdo starts scavenging through the town, avoiding the traps to the best of his ability. His ability at avoiding traps isn't that great. He gets shredded bad. Okay, so it was a pure mechanical check. Weirdo is killed. Oh, and we get nothing for it. The group spots a hitchhiker near the road. He wields a goofy, enormous sword. It's obvious it's way too big to swing effectively. He's also level 1, level 2 at best. He'll need some serious power leveling if he's going to defeat Ultimate Ascended Bizarro Cranker by the end of the game. Do we recruit Nimbus, or do we leave him be? Recruit, sorry weirdo. Well then, who's going to be uh, Nimbus here? Welcome aboard, Nimbus Ordeal. He's fleeing from a mysterious past. If you level him up, he's so good. He can only use his Guster Sword, but uh, it's pretty powerful. Oh no, Scipio, you had your chance. While driving along the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. A deadly Allmart, a swarm department, or a sewer rescue. Tom Foe says, give me the sword. There you go. Explore, explore some more. Alright, what else do we get? A swarmed arcade, a haunted mansion, or a barn rescue? Barn rescue could get us some decent melee weapons. This car is about to pop, by the way. Void Scroll wishes to hit up the arcade. I mean, our shooting skill isn't good, or it's actually not known at all, so who's to say? Arcade, arcade, arcade. Looks like we're hitting up the swarmed arcade. 
It's sardine packed, but at least they're calm, but it is night time. Oh my days, this is not ideal, truth be told. We're pretty injured. Are we tired? No, we're not. Well, uh, Sea Space is tired. Too bad for him. I'm going to take this assault rifle as a get out of jail free card. Again, DSYP can't hold a lot. DSYP can always fart his way to victory. There's a weapon for you, and there's another weapon for you. And hold this grenade as a get out of jail. Nah, DSYP is our get out of jail free card. All right, let's go. Now, question, who wants to train up their shooting here? There's nobody who is inherently good at shooting. It's a waste to do it on, Nim on Nimbus or DSYP. So do we want uh, Sea Space or Rudels? Rudels could actually become our ultimate anti-zombie heroine here, but that might be asking a lot. Oh no, there's there's ooze stuff here. All right, who's going to take the ooze to become differently shaped and uh, mysteriously stronger? Someone's got to take that ooze. Void scroll says sea space. Tom Foe says I want it, and I think Tom Foe is sea space. This is going to get confusing, won't it? All right, sea space, cover yourself in that ooze. His strength has increased and his fitness has increased. He's tired, so we don't know what that's actually going to amount to. But he's uh, large and strangely colored now. All right, Tom Foe is cloud. This is, this is going to get so confusing. I wish I could temporarily rename people in chat. Alright, there's, the, uh, there's the arcade. Who is going to train up their shooting now? Time to make your decisions and make them fast because we don't have time here. There are a lot of zombies. And there are only getting to be more zombies. Rudels! Volunteers Void Scroll. Yeah, it would be very convenient if you referred to yourself as Sea Space. Alright, Rudels. They're finally going to be good at. Get off of me! Get good at something. They play an old arcade game named Death Road to Canada, like all games ever made. Playing it increases your skill with guns. The critics were right. Shooting is revealed to be garbage, and now it's slightly less garbage, and you get a morale boost. At least you're happy about it, but time has passed, and time is not something we have uh, loads of here. Let's just get up the bathroom. Nothing good, then we're out of here. Let's not waste our time any further. We don't even have a food for one meal, which is a shame, but let's go. Arcade's great for stat-ups. Okay, uh, we find a large campsite occupied by a cartload of other survivors. Do we camp with them or drive off with no sleep? No sleep, of course, will make us tired. If we camp with them, well, there's always a risk, isn't there? We're actually terrible at everything, says Void Scroll. Yes, but there's a good opportunity to get better. The thing is, we need Nimbus to get stronger, because then he'll be good with that sword. Everybody wants to camp. We do camp. Nothing unusual happens, but we are low on food, so morale goes down for everybody. We desperately need more food. Let's hope that car doesn't break down as well. Oh, it broke down. Um... We do not have the ability to fix this car. At best, we can punch it. What are we going to do? Huge Head 123 says, Waking up with insomnia, great time to catch a DDR Jake stream. Well, perhaps. Sunday, we've got the whole day to stream, and it's death road to Canada until it's weekly one shot time. Abandon, 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 give her a whack. That looks like we're leaving the car behind. We have a ton of fuel. Let's try not to lose it whilst we walk along. 
Well, backpack is open, so we lost that food that we had. Alright, the bear stole my stuff. If we fight the deadly bear, we're gonna die. What are we gonna grab? The ammo or the extra weapons? We could actually load up on the weapons that we have on us, and then we don't have to worry about losing extra ones. I forget the ball bean hammer when we have grenade. Ammo, says Void Scroll. Ammo, ammo, ammo. The group manages to grab all the ammo for- We lose the gas! We lose all 191 gas! Ucha. The group didn't have any food to eat. Doubt festers. Okay, uh... Morale's at rock bottom. We lost all the food, all the gas. Well, this blows. Well, at least we spot a bakery with some sugary treats for us, so we get four food and a little bit of morale. Alright, Rudels spots an old SUV. Start her up. We're all tired. We're all hungry. We're all low on morale. This is pretty garbage, but let's do what we can. Whew. Okay. We decide to make a stop for supplies. Do we go for a stash in the woods, a small suburb, a busy hotel, or do we drive around a bit more? We're all tired. We can't really take a big fight right now. At least we kept the guns and ammo. We got that going for us. Everybody wants to hit up the suburb, it seems, so let's go. A ruined suburb. A few buildings that look like they haven't been completely trashed. Okay, tell you what. Uh, since we're all tired, right? Yeah, we are tired. Uh, Rudels is going to solo this one. Because at least Rudels is fast. And... I'm going to leave myself with one bit of space for carrying stuff. I wonder if being tired makes you slower, because she doesn't feel very fast anymore. Thankfully, we have just a little bit of swole, so we can still pick up chairs. Let's get some protein powder. God, that fire... that um, bear cost us everything. Yeah, fighting the bear would have killed Rudels, though, so it depends on how much we believe in Rudels. Which may vary from person to person, but I believe in Rudels. I also believe in getting myself that hatchet so we have more in the way of weapons. I want more ammo as well. I certainly want more gas, gas, gas. We only have 68 in the trunk. They say don't drive around with gas in your, uh, in your poot, but I always did. It's very handy. You know, maybe Frantic Whiner isn't as bad as I keep moaning about it being. The extra speed is probably coming in handy right about now. Nope, not worth it. Not worth it. small suburb kind of blows. Also, if I die, I lose everything we're picking up here, including this awesome hatchet and uh, machine gun. So let's do our best not to die. Aren't you glad you invested in a bit of shooting? Ooh, I like that room. <sighs> the skeleton took the hit there, so I lost out.
There's nothing further up, sadly. I'm a little curious about that room. Food, glorious food. Food beats bullets, also. Bullets. One full meal were saved. One and a half full meals to you. Was that seriously it? Oh well. It did say small. Let's go. Whew. Ugh, DSYP fully heals himself, leading Rudels with just one hit point. Whoa, it's Lenaru! It's nice to see a familiar face. He's uh, being thrown out by his former group. They seem pretty angry. Lenaru shrugs. He's a gourmand. He's got a trademark weapon. Do we want him on our side or do we want him tossed aside? Scipio says, dang, I lose, Jake. Name the terms of surrender. You think there's going to be mercy? Leave him. We can't afford a gourmand. Drop him, says Tom Foe. Void Scroll says, I can't decide. Well, can't have indecision here. Lenhar is being tossed aside. We should have no problems getting to Canada. It's only a thousand days. All right, Rudels is finally healed. Okay, as the group searches an abandoned house, a miracle happens. They find a government ration box. To their horror, it turns out there's dog poop sitting right on the handle. There's no way to open it without touching the poo. Do we have somebody open it? Now this destroys morale. Or do we just ignore it? Cloud opens it, says Void Scroll. Oh my god, this is... This could be a big deal. Void wants Cloud to do it. Cruza wants DSYP to open it. Hey, maybe DSYP will like it. He's a weird fellow. Someone's got to do it. Someone's either got to step up or force others to do it. Alright, seems there's support for DSYP. DSYP tries to nudge the poo off the box with a piece of wood. It goes horribly wrong. He gets grossed out. This is by far the worst thing to ever have the DSYP in the zombie apocalypse. You will never, ever be the same. Permanent morale penalty. His morale decreases, but we get some food. And it's not too bad if we lose DSYP, I think. He gets a morale increase from nothing to nothing. Okay, do we shoot the cans? Since we're pretty disloyal people, it'll make us happy to shoot these cans, or at least we won't care. And we'll all get some shooting practice and learn about our shooting. So I strongly recommend shooting these cans. Treza says, obviously, we shoot the cans. All right, we get shooting. Oh, it doesn't reveal shooting, but it does increase it. So, uh, ha ha. Oh, wait, it does decrease morale. Damn, I thought that was a loyalty check. Okay, uh, morale is pretty garbage. We're about to face something really bad. DSYP raises his arms in the heavens in despair. He just committed the ultimate mistake. He pooped his pants. There's no redemption for this one. He runs away before anyone else notices. DSYP leaves the team. That's fine. He was a liability anyway. The group meets a man trying to repair his broken car. He clearly has no idea what he's doing. Nimbus Ordeal could try to help him. I don't have any reason to believe Nimbus is any good at mechanical, but maybe he is. Or we have no time to help. I would have thought it would send in Rudels, as Rudels is uh, our best mechanic, but maybe Nimbus' is mysterious past is all about his... Uh, I don't know enough about Final Fantasy VII to make a reference here. Leave him. Nimbus is a dingbat. But two people want to help. So, uh, we're gonna do it. Also, cheers, Scipio. Well, I'll be damned! Nimbus is a pretty good medic. Uh, not medic, mechanical. A medic for machines. Morale increase, and a reward, and mechanical increase. Excellent! Great choice there, Tomfo. Terrific choice. Okay, Trader Camp, let's keep it going. We really, really need to get Nimbus swolled up so he can actually help. We have very little swole on the team. Just, uh, just see space who's turned into our daily dose. Okay, 
A suspicious person is selling silenced weapons. You'll attract less zombies per shot. Cool, but all you sell is a pistol, and all we have is 15 food. Glad DSYP is gone. Alright, medical supplies. One medical supply per food. I always see that as a pretty good deal, but we are pretty healed up right now. And you know, a bear will just come and steal our medical supplies. A woman wearing an oil-stained overall. We could get mechanical skill. If we get mechanical skill for Nimbus, we'd actually be pretty good on repairing stuff, but it costs six food. What do we do, team? It's up to you. Let's do it. Do it right. Like voting for Greg Knight. Trade four food for medical, says Tomfo. I don't think that's an option. Six food seems steep when we have so little. I say we leave, says Groza. Yeah. Uh, permanent mechanical skill is pretty amazing. But Croza doesn't want it. Come on, team. Make your decisions or we leave. Oh my god, I can't believe we're leaving. Oh well. Could have trained up Nimbus. Okay. A cacophony of groans spill out because we're jumping into the sewer system. They're hunting. It's nightfall. It's bad news for us. Sea space, take your weapons. Nimbus has his big old sword. I'm going to take the snub nose with the machete. Uh, no. I'll just take the machete. And the AK and the torch. I'll give you the snub nose. We're going to have to rest up frequently for Nimbus ordeal. Not just Nimbus, we're all pretty crummy and tired. I'd love to just race on through, but these guys are tired and tiring, and uh-oh. Fine, we race. I thought I loved Machete, I don't love something that only hits for one. Sprint through the middle, don't let them converge on us. tempting. I want it. I want it all. We're missing a guy. Come on. Okay, didn't even get uh, nicked, but we're out of ammo. The AK is no longer a get out of jail free card, so let's get out of jail to dead end. Come on, before the zombies trap us. What is with this endless place? Come on, guys. seem alive enough. Okay, amazing. Amazing! We made it! I can't believe we made it! Okay, it cost a lot of ammo, but at least we got through. We just run over zombies with a car, remarks Sea Space. This is technically true. Alright, we feel pretty inspired after managing to survive that situation. We're getting the hang of this. Do we take morale and random skill gain? Morale is not good. Medical, a bit wasted on us. We're uh, crummy at medical. Fitness, never wasted. Or plus two for sea space on mechanical, very wasted. Fitness says Cruza, morale says Rudel. 
Morale says Tom Foe. Let's take it. Okay, shooting for Rudels, that's alright. Shooting for Nimbus, that's a waste, you can't wield a gun. Fitness for Echo, also good. Let's keep going. Oh, also, we're out of gas. Sure wish we had that 191 gas. Okay, so we're ambushed while crossing a rickety bridge. The bandits demand 16 food. We have 18 food. We could pay them the food or refuse and fight. I'm not sure fighting would kill Rudels at this point. I don't... I don't know enough to say. Tom Foe wishes to fight. Rudels also wishes to fight. Well, we get very hurt. But not enough to kill us, at least. Alright, uh, morale decreases even further. It's a miserable night, but the food keeps morale relatively upbeat. Goodness, the, this, this hurting is hurting a lot. Thankfully, though, we get um, a free meal. Six extra food and a morale boost from fishing. Okay. The group walks to an entrance of a dark tunnel filled with cars. There are also some gas. Uh, at least we're not tired. Zombies can't escape from them easily. Late at night. Alright, uh, Rudels, you're soloing this one. Please don't die or else we'll lose a lot of good stuff. Just go fast. Oh. Duck and cover. Yoink, yoink. Not bad. Oh, I love burnt out car burger. We're out of here. Nice! And it's a tiny little car, so it'll be good on the mileage. Does the dark tunnel need a torch? Yes, it does, Rudel. Okay! Ah, it's a brutal day tomorrow. We eat a decent meal. Do we tell scary stories or just go to sleep? Scary stories will improve morale but leave us all tired. Just going to sleep does nothing. Sleep, says Rudel's. Scary stories, morale's kind of bad, says Cruza. Morale might get worse if we uh, eat some strength checks. Let's go to sleep. Boy, could do with some more medical here. Alright, we drive into a new city. Noise from the car has already stirred up the undead. Do we hit up the arcade to improve somebody's shooting, like Rudel's? Or do we hit up the sporting goods store to get some crappy weapons? What'll it be? Whew. Arcade, says Rudels, keen to become a zombie killing machine herself. And Tomfo's backing it up for the arcade. Alright, make your decision on who actually gets to use said arcade. Uh, oh right, Rudels is still the only one we have maining right now. There we go. That nah, should do us. Yeah, our weapons are fairly passable. We'll get Rudel's arcaded up. And we're not tired, thank goodness. We're still one head away from death for most of us. <laughs> that stupid weapon. Zombies here. I was told they were all riled up. Oh, there they are. Let's ditch the pistol. It's not much good to me here. Medicine. That's what we need. Except we're pretty bad at medical, so we need a lot of medicine. difference it makes having a good medic. 
but it's pretty hard to train one up and then when you train them up you gotta keep them alive as well. There's just no end to the, the troubles you face on the death road. size of that attack arc he gets. He's a monster. But that's all the more reason that we want him strong and fit so that he can actually wield that weapon appropriately. Problem, meaning people that only have one hit point. It's so stressful going around with them. Because all you need to do is flub a shot and then you get caught by a zombie and then oh, you're dead. Alright, but at least we have enough meds to heal us up once. Come on, pick a look. Look at that, flubbed the shot there, but not enough to die. There's the quarter eater. Can we get around the side? No, no we cannot. Which means we just gotta get through this horde of zombies, and we're good. Guster Sword is really good, but he can't swing it very much because he's so tired. He's so criminally unfit. So, a word of advice to the team do whatever you can to raise the strength and fitness of Nimbus Ordeal. Now let's, let's take a break a bit before we go in here. There we go. Let's get you playing that arcade game and Ultra Death. Shooting increase and morale increase. So now we have somebody that's a good shot, which is impressive because they started out as a lousy shot. Three toilets to open. Oh man, if only DSYP could see this. Hmm. Not great, but not bad. I'm happy to get all that medical at least. Let's go. Sea space got healed, and <laughs> it's Nimbus that's actually doing the healing now. We all have rock bottom medical. Right, we can get a reward of 15 food, some ammo, and a cowboy rifle. Uh, Nimbus is a passable mechanic. He could build up defenses. If we help with a shootout, we will die. Or we could just drive off. What'll it be? Also, welcome aboard, Lenharu. <laughs> Cheers for the sub. Build up the defences, says Tom Foe. Nobody else is chiming in. Alright. Nimbus tries to build up the settlement's defence. He tells the settlers how to build fortifications. The extra defences help a lot. They're grateful. His mechanical increases. Everybody's happy. Oh, we're finally somewhere half decent. Ah, oh, man. Nimbus is amazingly good at mechanical. I say amazing because I never expected him to be any good at it. Quick stop, we eat a meal, nothing big, and the food situation is good. Hey, it's Sea Space Echo. Right, we need to make a stop for supplies. Do we go to the Dead Arcade, the police headquarters, or the Mystery Factory? Remember, we're not that well kitted out for a big fight, so it might be worth our time taking the smaller fights. We can also drive around a bit more. 
Make your choices and make them good. Rudels wishes to explore further. Tom Tho wishes to hit up the arcade. I'm glad one of the original is still alive, because then I know that Rudels is Rudels. Cruza also wishes to explore, though. Let's check it out. We have a hardware store, a grocery rescue, or a lost stronghold. Rescues are pretty good for either people or extra items and such. Strongholds have a variety of items. Hardware store might have the elusive chainsaw. What do we do? Rescue, says Rudels. Rescue, rescue. Let's do it. We watch as another survivor retreats into a big grocery store. The survivor is pursued by a large, angry horde. They're thick, they're hunting, and we're going to attempt a rescue. I do have rounds for the get out of jail free card, so let's go, go. This tiny car is pathetic at health, however, it's good on the mileage, and I appreciate that. Uh oh. I'm still not very healed up, so let's not get cocky here. No Nimbus, we need these tr we need these carts. God, they are hunting. Okay. Where's all the food? Let's go back a bit. Oh crap. This is not a good place to be. It's quite the opposite of a good place to be. Well, I didn't train up and shooting for nothing. As we learnt in our previous endless mode, those shot, those uh, shotgun shells and rifle rounds, they'll only go to waste from hubris if we don't put them to use. Another <laughs> freaking hammer. This is the hammer run. All right, goodbye ammo. Still got the get out of jail free card, but that thinned the horde tremendously. Giving us a much easier run in the mainstay here. Mm, did I say much easier? Where's all the freaking food in this so-called grocery store? Uh, been falsely advertised too. We should definitely take care of some of these. Thin the area out before exploring a bit more. Oh, the zombies have broken through. It's all right. I'm relatively satisfied with how this is looking. running doesn't cost stamina. Hey, it's a survivor. Good, I could use a crowbar help. And a shotgun shell from the toilets. Berta says she really wants to get out of this place. Well, come with me then. We kind of thinned the herd for you. Music is still great in this game. You'd think you'd be tired after listening to it for hundreds of hours, but not me. Also, please don't die, Sea Space Echo. I didn't cover you in green goo just for you to die. Oh, that's food with my name on it. As grocery stores go, very disappointing. You'd think 10 food's pretty good, but for what was meant to be a grocery rescue in red text, I'm underwhelmed. Let's get out of here. Into our joke of a small car. Come on, car. Kick it. Alright, Berta catches up with a group at the safe spot and offers a reward. Medical training, strength training, or recruitment. That strength training looks very tempting when we have Nimbus and Sea Space around. Not to mention Rudels, but what do we take? When did Sea Space become the Hulk? Never mind, I instigated it at this point. 
Rudolf wants the strength, so does Kruzla. Welcome aboard strength training. There we go. We still don't know Nimbus' strength. Maybe we can have him talk about his mysterious past at some point. Rudolf is waiting for the car to break down. Fortunately, Nimbus has enough uh, ability to fix the car. Maybe. Nimbus Ordeal meets another survivor who rants about seeing an oiled-up bodybuilder that was too swole to control. Everyone in your group looks at each other nervously. <laughs> okay. Can we please heal Rudels? The group tries to lose grocery store, but it's been picked clean. Nimbus Ordeal finds a magazine rack and decides to give one a read. American guns, turnkey and good to go, which would train up his mechanic, which is really useful. Giant farts monthly in memory of DSYP. Or cat video pictures to raise morale, which is already pretty high. What do we do? Okay, everybody wants the turn key and good to go magazine. There we go, his composure increases. Interesting. Insightful articles have a calming effect on him. We didn't know his composure, but now it's better. Good composure is, well, good. Alright, we go against their judgement and camp in a city apartment because there are no zombies around. The building is on fire. Who will plan out the escape? Rudels has good composure. And all right wits. They might be able to get us out of there. We don't know about Nimbus. I can't imagine him being pretty good at it. Or we just run out now and we'll lose some supplies. We have a lot of food to lose. Rudels insists that they'll make a plan. Now, if you run us into a fire, you're going to die. But uh, this is putting your money where your mouth is, Rudels. Rudels tries to keep very calm and observant. She keeps very calm. She plans a fast way out. They leave unhurt. Expertly done, Rudels. Now, if someone could please heal Rudels. We're almost out of gas as well. It's a shoestring budget we got here. There's a dog wandering nearby. It's keeping its distance, but watching the group with guarded interest. It's rare to see a dog that trusts people. Should we recruit the dog for a couple of food? Or leave the dog alone? Dogs are not very good for endless mode, since, well, they, uh... They might be fast, but they have low health and not very good skills at anything, and they can't carry stuff. So, what do we do with this doggo? Might be good for some short-term hurting, though. Tomfo wishes to leave the dog behind, because he's a heartless monster. Cruza wishes to bring the dog. We're all disposable anyway, which is a good point. What does Rudel say? They get, the, they get the choice here. I've been bleeding out for like 50 miles. Someone please help me. I don't think the dog will help you. Get the dog. There we go. The group lures Tiffany over with food. She knows a good source of meals when she sees it and decides to stick around. Onwards to Canada. Who wants to be the dog Tiffany? Who will probably... Um, clumsy dog. Probably ascend into bipedal nature at some point. Well, we're hoofing it again. Sea Space Echo gets mauled by a feral giant cat. The group is fortunate enough to find an abandoned cabin. Very good. Happy for that morale increase. We eat a decent meal as well. Nimbus can't tend to Rudels. Rudels continues to bleed out. Okay. Right in front of us is a car. Looks like it can be driven. The keys must be somewhere near. Let's check out that car. We're not tired, so everybody can go in for it. Rudels can carry something, but can't actually equip anything. Alright, let's go for it. Oh my god, it's an ice cream truck. Can we just grab the gas and turn back for uh, our old tiny car? Food, glorious food, hot sausage and mustard. While we're in the mood, something, something and custard. Been a long time, but we used to do a lot of plays and stuff in school. Thank God we're not tired. We do with being more swole, though. Alright, let's clean out. There's the keys, at least, and some extra gas, gas, gas! You might think it's strange that I'm maining Rudels. I normally main the swollest character, and right now that looks to be Sea Space. But Rudels is fast, and Rudels only has one health, and I really want to keep Rudels alive. Because she is the mental juggernaut of the team. Also, I like to grab Hatchet. 
It's not amazing, but it's, uh... <laughs> Dog got the bone. It's not amazing, but what, where am I going with that? But it's durable. It'll never break down. So we can give it to a survivor if they join and have them instantly be borderline useful. serious power leveling here, but uh, Nimbus is still as lazy as when we found him. Maybe a little stronger, but... But, but, but... Smashy, smashy! That's our lot, I guess. We need to fight our way out of here. I also watched all my friends die since day one. It weighs on a woman, says Rudels. Trying to keep you alive here. And for once, actually trying pretty hard. Get in the car, everyone! Get in the freaking car! Oh, crap. Wrong option. Very wrong option. Alright, well, let's take the opportunity to send the herd. Now get in the freaking car! Nimbus! You better be in. There we go. Alright, good food. Decent gas, but this thing's going to chew through the gas. Okay, bandits appear wearing sweatbands and they're super buff. <sighs> They'll also accept 20 pounds. So they want 20 of our food. We have 32. If we challenge them to oppose off and lose, we lose a lot. But... Sea space is relatively strong. He might do it, he might not. What'll it be? Don't worry, Jake, you expected this and didn't let me in the car to be going. Damn right, I didn't. Man to rat to man to rat to dog metamorphosis. Yeah, we don't have anyone manning the dog yet. Can't you lock sea space on wheeled? Kung Fu is super strong. Pay the toll, pay the toll. Looks like people want to pay. And Donimo says, I'm the dog. There you go. Let's pay the toll. We're a bit unhappy about it, but uh, better that than losing everything. On the death road, we decided to make a stop for supplies. A packed grocery store to make that food back. A riled up house, a rest stop, or do we drive around a bit more? Up to the team here, including the dog. Rudels continues to bleed out. It's like Brett from Archer here. Packed grocery store might be good, especially since we're not tired, but driving around could get us something even better. Drive around, we need medical. Rudels also wishes to drive around. Fair enough. Junkyard, City Row, or Crowded Yalmart. A new car might be pretty good, because this car sucks. And the City Row might have a place that has a medical facility. So, Of course, we can have some junkyard needles. They can heal you right up. City Row, says Rudels. If you'd asked him about the outfits, it would have been free, says FPQC. Well, the more you know. Grab the car. It's kind of like medical, but with road events. Dog-like junkyard. Alright, well. Cruz is saying grab the car, but there are two car options. City. Alright, city row with car it is. Thick, but the calm. Let's check out that car and hope for the best here. I don't need an extra, extra machete. In fact, we have a lot of machetes here. I'm just going to ditch them. And Sea Space can use his mighty uh, Kung Fu to carry us through. Let's go! Stupid car. Alright, where are the keys? Well, don't, don't scratch the car already, right, Nimbus. Oh, damn, it's late. I should have packed a... Um, I should have packed a flashlight, and it's not too late to go back and get one either, so I will. Medical, yes! Sadly, we need one more. <laughs> Democracy was a mistake, says Asidious. Well, he knows how to win the game. Oh dear god, there was a zombie hiding there, and it almost totaled me. Let's grab the torch and keep going. Oh, 
Oh. Oh. Might have to make do without that car. No medical, dang. Even if we get medical, we might... Wait, when did Nimbus get hurt? Maybe that was in an event fight? I don't remember it though. Let's just heal up, uh, rest up a bit. No need to be so tired. Uh, but we don't really have time on our side either, do we? Mm. I think the tune playing right now is called Rotten Shotgun. It's really good. Good grief, where's the everything? Ooh, thank you, Nimbus. That saved us. That saved me. Where the hell are the car keys? I think you missed a house above the red car. The one on the left. Yeah, you're right. We haven't been in here. Oh, good grief. It's nasty in there. I don't want to attract too many zombies with gunfire, gunfire, but... It's getting a bit chaotic out here. How much do we really want that car? Well, so far we've found nothing here, so... Probably try doing something. Let's go for it. <sighs> All right, well, there's gas. It's only thirty. Something of it, but there's our uh, there's our ticket out of here. But I feel really ill done to. Let's try and find something else around here, like an extra bit of food. Some biofuel, I guess. It's getting extremely dark, though. Toilet medicine? No. I'm taking a lot of risky movements here, but... Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Phew. Alright. We camp out in a pro shop. Nimbus Ordeal looks out the window and sees a large group of zombies approaching in the driving range. Thankfully, Nimbus has good mechanical, so he can hotwire the golf ball collector for a free win here. Strongly recommend choosing that. We can shoot golf balls at the zombies, which will probably not work because we don't have a lot of strength and fitness between us, and one of us is a dog. Hotwire. Let's make it happen. Morale increase across the board. We're all pretty happy. And that's a full mechanical for Nimbus Ordeal. As long as we have the gas, we can keep our car going for a very long time. And it's only costing 10 gas per turn in this. Speaking of gas, we just got some extra gas. We could repair the car and tune it up. I mean, it's in a pretty good state already, but we could further repair and tune it up thanks to Nimbus's amazing abilities. Or we could drive away. What are we going to do in Carl's Customs? Go Nimbus, go! Nimbus is carrying this run in terms of mechanical. He's not really doing much in terms of strength and fitness. And Rudels is carrying the shooting. Just leave, repair, drive away, le What, no one wants to repair the car? Okay, sure, we're driving away. We're never going to make it all the way to Canada, and everybody's unhappy with Rudels saying that. Why you gotta why you gotta be such a pain? Alright, let's head up the trader camp with the 13 meager food we have. Some nerd is selling books here. 
Please don't mess with the display books. They're fake. I put them down to confuse book thieves. We could get the complete guide to lifting for five food, or books are for nerds. Pretty good deal, I think. Uh, I'm not sure if that will help everybody, but it looks like a great deal. Someone's selling weapons. We have weapons. Somebody is wanting to buy weapons. And somebody is looking to sell bullet. Can we eat the dog? We cannot eat the dog. Dog meat is not on the menu. Can't make it too easy. It's not the mild pain road to Canada. Okay, what are we doing here? My recommend... Oh, wait, what about this guy? Oh, he's selling the, the gun, of course. Personal recommendation would be getting a swole book. Otherwise, there's a lot of rubbish here. Buy the book, says the dog. Alright, let's get the complete guide to lifting. Everybody gets a chance to read it, and we reveal that Nimbus Ordeal's strength was rubbish, and now it's only bad. Wait, the dog didn't read it, did he? No, dog can't read, because he's a clumsy dog. Still, Sea Space is pretty good at Swole now. Next time we see some buff bandits, we're totally going to rip them to shreds, otherwise no one's saying anything. So unless I feel like selling a weapon... And I really don't. We're getting out of here. At least we have enough food for one rest. Uh-oh. We're surrounded on all sides by a horde. They're funneled into the only place that looks defendable. A ruined mall. That's awful. Triple exclamation mark undead flood. At least I have the AK-47, but uh, we're going to have to gun up, I think. We've got a lot of pistol rounds, at least. But that reduces your kung fu abilities. Did anyone catch what time it is? Come to think of it, oh, he's a martial artist. You'll never use guns. It's near noon. Okay, we don't need the, uh, the flashlight then. However, you can still carry the ammo for me. I'll be taking the shotgun, hope you don't mind. Alright, let's do this. Uh-oh. I sure hope there are some mall cops around here. There are! We might yet be saved. I hear the sound of one of them getting eaten already, though. Damn it, I don't want to be here. Get up here. This is what I trained for. Me too, buddy. Me too. They are flooding in, guys. We got to attack here. Good as this ammo if we don't put it to use. Give me that snub nose. Guys, these guns aren't for show. Could we please kill something? Oh, oh no, we really can't. How's the get out of jail free card? It's pretty out of ammo ish. No, Rudels! Oh, I'm gonna miss Rudels. And I'm gonna miss Rudels' gun. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh-oh. God, I hate moles. There's no loop in a ruined mall, so it's just pain and more pain.
Oh, that was painful. That was so painful. What was that about three hours, Jake? It was closer to three hours than not. Okay, we have died on the death road to Canada. I think we're going to call it there for our attempts at making it to the frozen north. This game, it just throws a whole lot at you, and that was very painful. Nice team as well. I really like that team, but... Uh, as soon as Rudels died, it was all downhill from there. Dang it! And a bit more, dang it. Alright, cheers for joining for the Death Road to Canada. We're going to have the weekly one-shot later on today. Uh, it's actually Aristocrat who's going to be uh, maining that one. And he's going to be around in, James, about five hours from now. A fair bit, but we'll just take a break until then. So, until the weekly one-shot, cheers for joining on the Death Road. And cheerio.